videos for this lesson. And this one's going to be about functions. Functions tell the state, the relationship between two variables. Functions are written one of two ways, either f of x equals something, or y equals something. And yes, this is going to lead into graphing, which will be the next lesson, not the next video, the next lesson. But we're going to just stick with these two for now. I'm going to focus mostly on just f of x for this video. So let's say you're given f of x equals x squared. What is f of 3? What you're going to do is you're going to substitute 3 everywhere that there's an x in here. So f of 3 would equal 3 squared, which is 9. Let's say you were to do f of 17. It'd be 17 squared, which, I'm sorry, I actually don't know this one off the top of my head, 289. That's a lot of functions in a nutshell. But, Life would be boring if everything were that easy. Let's say you were given this. f of x equals 3x plus 2, and g of x equals x plus 4. We'll keep it simple for now. Could you find f of 3 and g of 3. Well, f of 3 would be 3 times 3 plus 2. I'm going to use f because that's what it's given. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. g of 3, though, would just be 3 plus 4, which is 7. So you got to make sure if you're given multiple functions that you're putting into the right one. But what we're going to do here is what's called a composite function. A composite function is a function of a function. these are going to be written one of two ways. f of g of x or f of g of x. To inner most function first. So let me give you an example. Let's take what we had before. f of x equals 3x plus 2. And g of x equals x plus 4. what would f of g of x be? Basically what I'm asking you to find is f of x plus 4. 
and that's what I'm going to substitute into f. 3 times x plus 4 plus 2. I'm going to distribute this 3. 3x plus 12 plus 2. I'm going to combine like terms. 3x plus 14. Alright, so I'm going to step back and go over what I did. I wanted f of g of x. So I took g of x, which is x plus 4, and substituted that into f of x, which is 3x plus 2. So I got 3 times x plus 4 plus 2, which gives me 3x plus 12 plus 2, which is 3x plus 14. What if we did g of f? Which means I'm going to be doing g of 3x plus 2, which equals 3x plus 2 plus 4, which is 3x plus 6. Notice that there is a difference, Whoop. depending upon which way I go. So what if I asked you to do f of g of 3? I could do g of 3, find the answer to there, and substitute that into f. But I've already got f of g right here, 3x plus 14. 3 times 3 plus 14, which is 9 plus 14, which is 23. And likewise, I could do g of f of 3. I'll get 3 times 3 plus 6, which is 9 plus 6, which is 15. And believe it or not, that's pretty much what you need to know about functions. I will give you one other thing in the next video that's going to take a little bit more time, which is why I want it to be its own video. But other than that, I will see you in the next one.